this was a presentation for the European Society for the Study of Cognitive Systems. It took place in the University of Genoa in July 2008. The title was The Evolution Machine, Reconsidering La Maitre's L'Homme Machine. Uh, that is, man is a machine. This is a photograph of La Maitre. Uh, La Maitre had a, a difficult career. In 1748, he published his book, La Machine. He couldn't publish it in France. Uh, it, came, it derived from Descartes. Uh, it was attacked from all sides and publicly burned. And uh, La Maitre went into exile with Frederick the Great in Berlin. Uh, I've condensed uh, some of the uh, part of his uh, book uh, to give some idea of the argument uh, he presented in La Machine, Man Machine. I won't read all this, but anyhow, let us conclude boldly that man is a machine, the human body is a watch. Uh, it, it, he argues that to be a machine, but yet to th feel and think and so on, is no more remarkable than... Uh, animals having a range of abilities. Uh, the, uh, he argues that uh, the form and the structure of the brain of humans are the same as those of other quadru qu quadrupeds. Uh, there's the same arrangement everywhere uh, in man as well, whose brain is the largest and uh, more convoluted. Uh, he says the uh, the transition, so to speak, from animals to man is not violent. The springs of the human machine are such that all vital uh, effects are carried on by their action in a purely, purely mechanical way. And he gives some illustrations about the life, life, eyelids closing and so on. Uh, but here we come to the substance of the uh, presentation. Uh, reconsidering L'Homme Machine in the light of the amazing advances in neuroscience and in evolutionary biology which have taken place. So these are the key questions. What do we share with animals? What don't we share with animals? How have we acquired the things we don't share with animals? What part has language played? How did we acquire language? Uh, La Maitre proposed that human, uh, the human is a 100% machine, but in the light of all the advances, how much of a machine should we think we are now? Uh, there's little in the detail of uh, what La Maitre said he was a doctor, which uh, would now be disputed, but research in molecular biology and neuroscience every day is showing how wonderfully the mechanisms, the springs, of human and animal action function, and so I'm providing some examples of the essential uh, physiological machinery we share with animals. Uh, these videos uh, could be said to present what uh, Francis Crick called the central dogma of modern biology, how DNA makes protein, uh, and uh, the illustrations also suggest how the brain f functions in uh, memory. So here's the first illustration. This is how DNA is transcribed into messenger RNA. Uh, the DNA strand is purple. The uh, polymerase complex which acts on it is in blue and gray. And the uh, messenger RNA comes out as yellow. So here's a, an active uh, animation uh, showing the string of DNA and the polymerase complex is gripped onto the string of DNA and uh, all sorts of transcription factors uh, assemble around the polymerase uh, complex and the string of DNA is, so to speak, pulled through or worked through uh, the, this uh, elaborate machinery, uh, in this blue-gray machinery. And the effect as it goes through is that the complementary string to the original DNA string from the uh, uh, genome comes out as yellow uh, and this is pr uh, preparatory to being transferred for the later stage of processing. The transfer RNA, uh, messenger RNA uh, is assembled from 
uh, or, or the uh, uh, amino acids in in the uh, nucleus. Well, here we have the nucleus. The next stage of the uh, process, uh, translation, uh, the messenger RNA y yellow comes from the cell nucleus and in its turn is ca captured by another bit of machinery, a ribosome in blue. And, and, and the, uh, this ribosome collects what's called transfer RNA, which has, uh, brings the relevant amino acids to c construct the protein. And uh, in the animation, you see this. Here's the uh, messenger RNA coming out of the nucleus. Here's the ribosome gripping onto the uh, messenger RNA and drawing, so to speak, the uh, messenger RNA through. And uh, it's assembling, in this case, amino acids, uh, which are attached to transfer RNA. The amino acid is at the tip of the transfer RNA uh, elements. And these are all put together in the way appropriate to produce a particular protein, as guided by the original DNA string. The protein is assembled in the ribosome, very complex process, but I uh, can't show it all here. But here you can see the uh, eventual protein emerging as red. Uh, f uh, it's been assembled from all the amino acids in the correct order, and so you get a functioning protein, uh, in this case hemoglobin, which plays a, an essential part, of course, in uh, animal and human physiology. Next illustration is switching over to another part of machinery, in this case in the brain, and how the brain is remodeled. Uh, the picture shows dendrite, blue dendrite, uh, and a dendrite is a, a sort of like growth of branches and twigs on a nerve cell, a neuron. And this is a central point at which uh, all the rest of the brain is interacting with the individual neuron. The dendrite is blue and growing on it are spines, like twigs, growing in real time. And this is a recording which was made in 2006. The spines grow on the surface of the neuron on the dendrites. And this is an extremely active process involved in memory and uh, uh, neural functioning generally. Uh, the next illustration shows this process in action. Here you see again the blue dendrites and the spines growing on the dendrites. And this, this is an evidence of structural changes taking place in the process of memory. Uh, this was dealt with... Uh, uh, by a, a Nobel Prize winner, Kandel, in uh, he gave a speech his speech in December 2000. But the main point he made was that the the way memory is stored uh, in the brain is exactly the same as he says from mollusk to mammals and in fact to human beings. He says there are no fundamental differences between the nerve cells and synapses of humans and those of a snail, a worm, or a fly, or indeed 